Thomas diagonally across the chest for the Tommies. Stouts against Gravel here to kick things off. And the faceoff comes free for the Tommies. They'll quickly dump it right into the Johnny zone. Diddle in the foot race here with Barnes. Back on the St. John's goal. Dribbles into the corner. Oakley will play it there. Back along the end. We'll chip back to the point. Kept in by Olmshank. He'll slide it down low. And picked up by Oakley behind. And he'll throw it back on the Johnny net. Worked over to Diddle. He'll get it up the left side to Kirkendall. Kirkendall will clear it out to center. Played in the neutral zone. Swept in by Stouts. Then punched right back out to center by UST. Diddle will fire it into the Tommy zone. Stop on the net by Bagrabi. He'll paddle it over to Omshank in the right wing corner for UST in their own zone. Pass up the right side. Here is Gravel. Gets past Chitwood. Up the right side to Barnes. Barnes throws it uh, wide to the Johnny Gold Glove down there by Lindgren. And uh, one of the Johnnies took a high stick there, but play will continue. St. John's back to Hepner down the right wing. Hepner looking for a center. He throws it in on goal and a stick save there by Bagrabi. Picked up by Lang for the Johnnies. He'll feed it into the slot, trying to get it over to Hepner, but he was tied up by Philip Fromberger for St. Thomas. Back out to center. And a stick is knocked out of a Tommy's hand into the Tommy bench. Play will continue. Here's Wagner in the neutral zone, gaining the line down the left wing. Wagner looking for a feed. Wagner with a shot. That's blocked out in front, and the puck sails out of play. And we'll have a stoppage with 18.46 in the St. Thomas zone. Be John Peterson for St. Thomas against Ryan Kiro. He scored the game winner against Gustavus. And a quick wrist shot off the faceoff by Colford and a pad save by Bagrabi. And the puck cleared into the uh, defense, continuing to trickle in. Johnny Ratpack's going to have a busy day today. They're here. I would assume they'll probably be at the basketball championship game at Sexton Arena. That starts at 7 o'clock. Out in front, tipped in front there. Rebound in front, bouncing around. Pad save by Bagrabi, and St. Thomas clears it away. Boy, the Johnny's got a couple of point-blank chances right there. And the freshman goaltender up to the task. Cleared back into the Tommy zone and then out of play. And we'll have a stop a couple weekends ago. Face off in the neutral zone. Punched into the Tommy zone. Bagrabi will come out to slow it down for Alex Trapp. He'll chip it around the glass, and it'll trickle back out to center. Poke check free by Lang. Out at center. He'll work it forward up to Brady Dahl. Johnny's into the zone on the right wing. Shot there by Dahl, and a glove save by Bagrabi. Strong start to this period. So you know CAG will replace your auto glass in the safest manner possible. Go to cityautoglass.com for complete information. Think safety and think City Auto Glass. City Auto Glass is celebrating over 20 years of serving St. Cloud and Central Minnesota. Tommies will loft it back into the Johnny zone. Picking it up in the right wing corner here is Gavin Payne. He'll swing it back behind the Johnny net. Working in the corner, back to Payne along the half wall. He'll work it back behind the goal again. Jake Algren trying to center it. That goes off of uh, Lang at the side of the net. Algren works out in front, throws it in on goal, and might have gone off the knee pad of Andrew Lindgren. And the Johnnies will ring around the boards back into the Tommy zone. Icing waved off. McGrabby comes back to play it. He'll leave it there for Olmshank. Breakout pass up to Algren. He'll tip it in the St. John's zone and go for a line change. Here's Diddle back to play it along the end boards. Shielding the puck down low. Picked up here by St. Thomas by Spencer Swiner. In the right wing corner of the Johnny end. Swiner along the end wall. Battling with Stouts. Swiner still with the puck. He'll work it into the corner. Stouts now switching things up. Trying to muscle in front of uh, one of the Tommy forwards, Ben Vickich. And Stouts will win that battle and get it back out to center. But it slips off a of Johnny stick. And St. Thomas will take possession at their own blue line. Loose puck dribbles back out to center. Johnny's will push it into the Tommy zone on the backhand. Phil Fromberger, long stretch pass to the Johnny blue line. Dumped in by Spellman for St. Thomas. And be collected here by Travis Brown for SJU. Brown didn't play in the final game of the uh, Gustavus series. Back in the lineup here for this playoff game. Fired right back into the Johnny zone. Icing waved off. The captain Cole Soto back to pick it up for the Johnnies. Pass up the middle of the ice to Wagner. Wagner, he'll fire it in. Into the left wing corner. Work back along the end wall by St. Thomas. Rink wide pass up to Gravel. He's got some time and space down the right side. And the Tommies, though, are called for offs. Early going here in St. Cloud. Brett Gravel coming up the middle for the Tommies. Gains along with the shot. And a save there by Lindgren. And he'll hold on. First shot on. 
Gave up two goals in the final 90 seconds, 90 seconds of the third period to lose four to three. Backhanded up the right wall by the Johnnies off the face off, out to center. Sox running it forward, trying to get it to Kiro, trying to split the D. Johnnies pick up the puck down low in the offensive zone. They'll bank it off the sidewall back to Lang. Lang fires it towards that block down in front. He gets it right back. He'll throw it down over to Default. Default works it back along the end wall over to Kiro. Kiro, the sophomore, trying to dig it free in the left wing corner. He's stapled there to the boards by Latimer, and St. Thomas digs it free, and they'll fire it forward. Headman pass goes off of John Peterson. That'll allow Lang to collect a loose puck deep in his own zone. He'll leave it back, find the goal for Orn. Adam Orn, quick snap pass up the left side. Rink wide for Colford. Colford across to Lang. Lang into the offensive zone. Lang with a shot that goes over the top of the net. Flat on that wrist shot, but he missed the goal. Back out to center, St. Thomas. Peterson down the right side, into the offensive end. He'll stop in the corner, leave it there. Here's Luke Ratatek leading the Mayak in freshman scoring this year with he's Five, six points clear of anybody else. And a penalty coming here against St. Thomas with 14.48 to uh, come, come, uh, come from behind wild win over the Gusties. Face-off win by Kyle Wagner. Johnny's trying to set something up here. Here's Soto. Swings it back over to Wagner. That's too far for the junior forward. And it's backhanded down the rink by St. Thomas on the clear. Soto back to retrieve along the end wall. He'll leave it back behind the net. Johnny's... Working in the middle of the ice, back to Soto. Soto will saucer it forward into the right wing corner of the commie zone. He played into the netting by St. Thomas and will have a stop. Face off to the left of the Tommy goal here. Kiro taking the draw. It's controlled by St. Thomas and they quickly snap it down the rink. Stop on the net by Lindgren. Travis Brown back to play for the Johnnies. He's met by Stufko for St. Thomas right behind the net. Johnny's kind of trapped in their own zone right now, trying to get something set up. Coming up the middle with good speed here is Evan Oakley. Oakley into the offensive zone down the left wing on the backhand. Oakley stops in the corner. Gets bumped off the puck, and it's swung around the boards by Fromberger down the rink on the clear. Brown back to retrieve for SJU. As he's bumped from behind by Jack Christensen for the Tommies. And a bit of miscommunication in there as the Johnnies leave the puck along the half wall, but they're able to recover it. Get it across the rink, Stouts. Fires it across. Kiro gets bumped from behind at the Tommy Blue line. St. Thomas pushes it into the neutral zone. Johnny's will collect in front of their own bench. They'll back it up. Brown will send it over the left side for Lang. Lang will turn and slap it to the blue line. Stopped there by the Tommies and cleared back into the St. John's zone. Not much going here on this man advantage. 30 seconds to go on it. Still scoreless here in the first period. Here's Hefner out through center. Gets taken down from behind. Penalty coming here against the Tommies. Hefner up high in the offensive zone. Throws it down low to Chipwood in the right wing corner. Johnny's getting the extra attacker on. Here's Kiro at the left point. Kiro holding there. Throws it across over to Colford. Colford spins. Back up point for What's it for Soto? Missed the net. Picked up here in the left wing corner by Kiro. Extra attacker on for St. John. Kiro up high in the zone. First penalty to Ratatex about to expire. Colford at the top of the right circle. Colford holding. Saucer's on her bouncing. It trickles through the legs of Bugrabi and just wide of the goal. Ratatek out of the box. And it's back out to center. Still a delayed penalty against St. Thomas for tripping Hefner in the slot a moment ago. The Johnnies have a six on five situation right now. Wagner banks it off the end wall and have another crack at it. Face off to the left of Bugrabi. Controlled by the Tommies. Tied up in the corner, Yench, double teamed by a couple of St. John's forwards. Here's Oakley, gets it free to Stouts. Stouts bumped off the puck there by Yench. Coming in to help out again is Oakley. Oakley works it back behind the net for Kiro. Kiro behind the Tommy goal. Kiro tied up but gets it over to Stouts in the right wing corner. Stouts works up the middle of the ice over to Brown. Brown back over to the top left circle for Kiro. Kiro stops up high in the zone at the point. Kiro now to Soto the one-timer. He scores! Definitely the original shot. Not sure if it was tipped in front at all. A goal! Goal was scored by number two, Sean Lang. With an assist, going to number 21, Ryan Kiro. Time of the goal, 8.01. Ryan Kiro getting the lone assist on Lang's power play tally. Uh, from the center point, Johnny's trying to get it out. A stretch pass from the side of their net, intercepted at the point. St. Thomas, Christensen trying to get to the slot. Works it right through the middle of the ice. No one home in the back door for UST, but they keep it in the zone momentarily. 
Cleared out to center. Trying to chase it down down the left wing is Mahan. Michael Mahan for the Johnnies. Rings it around the boards. Picked up by Brady Dahl. He'll work it back by that. Swung right up the middle of the ice by St. John's. That was Tristan Sabina from below the goal line, but no one home in the slot for SJU to pick that loose puck up. Back into the Tommy zone. Soto back to retrieve for Lang in his 100th career game. Picking up his third career goal, third goal of the season, excuse me, his first on the power play. Shot down the left wing by Brown, goes over the top of the Tommy goal. In the right wing corner, Johnny's trying to dig it free. Default takes a spill, but still has the puck in the right wing corner. Default back out to the point, the sophomore. And Johnny's going D to D, that pass off the mark though, and it goes back out to center, forcing SJU to reset. Cleared back into the neutral zone by the Tommies. Colford back to retrieve. He'll pick it up along the end wall. Up the left side to Lang. Lang can't get it out. Work towards the net. And it skipped in on goal. Padded away by Lindgren. Picked up in the far corner of the Johnny zone. SJ trying to get it free. And St. Thomas, though, on the back check, able to dig it free. Kind of pickpocket it and keep it in the zone for an extra moment. Back out to center, though, we go. Kirkendall sweeps it in on the backhand. Deep in the Tommy zone right now. Picked up by Monahan. He'll bank it off the sidewall. Up to Gravel. Gravel trying to accelerate away from Oakley. Loses the puck. Kirkendall coming back the other way. Down the left wing into the offensive zone. Centers it. That goes off a skate boot. And Gravel by himself down the right side. He's got Diddle in front of him. Gravel, toe drag with a shot. Trying to go short side. Missed the net. And it's worked into the slot for a kicked away by St. John's by Stouts. Penalty coming here. And it's coming to play by committee type of thing. No, the uh, Tommies have only one guy in the top 15 in the Mayak in power play scoring, but they're third in the conference in power play success, so kind of spreading the wealth on the man advantage, St. Thomas. Working the puck in the offensive zone right now. Being really aggressive, chasing the puck over the far side wall. Soto comes free for Wagner. He'll chip it out to center. Short-handed. Hepner one-on-one -on -one down the right side. Hepner stop, fires, misses the net short side. Rings around the wall. Back out to center. St. Thomas, the only team in the conference to not give up a shorthanded goal this year. Swiner down the right side. It takes a hard check along the end wall, and the Johnnies clear the puck down the rink. A minute and a half to go on the Tommy power play. St. John's leading one to nothing on their own power play goal. A few minutes ago, the third goal of the season by senior defenseman Sean Lang. Coming up the middle of the ice here is Latimer. He'll leave it at his own blue line for Gravel. Gravel up the left side into the Johnny zone past Oakley. In the left wing corner, he'll bank it off the end wall over to the near side boards for Tanner Barnes. Barnes back to Gravel. Gravel back out to the point for Fromberger. Here is Gravel across the ring. Knocked away by Johnny Stick. Poke check free by Orn at the last second. Johnny Penvika was on the back door for St. Thomas, and he would have had a good chance if he'd been able to get that puck cleanly. Gravel saucers it forward, trying to swing it towards the net. There is Barnes on a tough play. That pass broken up. Gravel, though, back on the net, trying to get it on front for Barnes. Knocked away by the Johnnies and fired down the rink. 40 seconds to go on the Tommy Power play. Bograbi, the goaltender, clears it forward. Swept in by Gravel across the rink. Brown will quickly blast it down the ice, all the way down against Wagner. Gravel digs it free for the Tommies. Starting the rush here is uh, Fromberger for UST coming up the middle. Pass up the right side to Barnes into the Johnny zone. Barnes centering, centering it. And it goes off the stick of Fromberger and picking up the loose puck at the side. And then it is Brown for St. John's. He'll clear it back out to center. Tommies, though, right in at back in on the attack down the left wing. Drop pass to the point for Barnes. He's tied up there by Hepner. Dobbs out of the box into the play. Power play is over. Puck played along the half hole. St. Thomas keeps it in the zone. Fire towards the goal. That one skips wide and into the near side corner. Tommies hold it in. Up high in the zone is Barnes. Top of the left circle. On the backhand. Working out front with a backhand towards the goal. Glove saved there by Lindgren. And he'll hold on. Tanner Barnes transferred from Wisconsin. Gavin Payne transferred from RPI. Shot there off the faceoff by Ratatek. Just misses the net on the near side. Comes around the boards. Tommy still hold it in. Here's Peterson. He's been a very good playmaker this year in the far corner. Tommy's back out the point. Quick shot. Stick saved by Lindgren. Pushed high off the glass in the near side corner. Thrown towards the net from by Peterson. Captain at the left point by Latimer. Looks like a power play right now for St. Thomas. They're doing a nice job of maintaining puck possession in the offensive zone. Finally dug free by SJU and default will get it to Colford. Colford will backhand it in wide of the Tommy net. Down the left side is Lang. He'll push it back behind the goal. Backhand it out towards the front of the net by default, but that's tipped away by Tommy Stick. St. Thomas will get it to the Johnny Blue line. Diddle will intercept, trying to feed it forward to Colford over his stick. 
And icing against the Johnnies, even though right Tommy's starting to find their legs after that power play chance. They've had a lot more offensive flow as this period has moved along. Johnnies intercept a pass at their own blue line. That was mishandled by Christensen. Backhanded over the top of the net in the Tommy end by Jake Diddle. Tommy's though picking up off their own end wall though. Payne down the right side. Into the Johnny zone. Here's Christensen. Back out to the front with a shot. Shoulder saved by Lindgren. Point uh, from the slot off the stick of Jake Algren. Tommy's though still in the zone. Coming out in front is Payne stripped away from him by Diddle. Pushed off the end wall over to Dobbs. Dom, Johnny's in their own end. They'll slide it up the left side. Back out to center. Too far for Kirkendall. Back into the offensive zone for UST. Down the right side is Payne. All on the end wall. Try thinking about the wraparound. He'll throw it back out to the point. Yinch will goes over the top of the net. High off the glass. Stouts will collect it in the right wing corner for St. John's. Johnny's have been on their heels for the last few shifts. That power play chance for St. Thomas really got things going for them, getting them skating and moving the puck well, particularly in the offensive zone. Swiner backhander up the right side into the Johnny end again. Down the right wing here. Tommy's back behind the goal. Here's Vickich battling for it here. Nice with uh, one of the Johnnies. I think that was Mahan. Coming in to help out is Soto in the near side corner. Turned over again to St. Thomas. Spellman works it back out to the point. Going to try to go D to D are the Tommies, but slips off the stick of Trap. And St. John's back the other way in the attack. Rob past the middle of the ice. Shot there by Brown. Blocked out in front. Johnnies have to hurry back here. Tommies almost had a chance at a big time odd man rush. But St. John's hustled back as we pass the 15 minute mark of the first period. Johnnies leading 1 0. Inter pass intercepted by Chitwood. Chitwood coming up the middle with a shot. And a glove save there by Bugrabi. Sharp angle shot there by Chitwood. And uh, I think a pad save by Bugrabi again. Tommy's the other way. Panvika always with good speed. Poke checked away from him. And the Tommies are offside at the Johnny Blue line. And welcome back to Johnny Hockey. 1-0 SJU with the lead. Just saw Colin Willox come out and test his left leg. Shot from the left side by the time he's off the faceoff. Goes wide to the Johnny goal. And it appears Willox is going to re-enter the game after having his left leg or his left foot cut earlier, most likely by a skate. And uh, bled all over the place. And that led to a lengthy delay as the uh, ice crew had to clean the ice. Willox went off uh, on a shot. Got a power play goal a few minutes after that, but St. Thomas has really owned the pace of play and puck possession since. Face off to Bugrabi's right. Kiro taking the draw for St. John's against Gravel. Clean win for Kiro and a quick one-timer for Colford. They've tried that play a couple of times. They've gotten a the shot off. Bugrabi made the save the first time, and that Sharon also had the first half of my pregame interview with sophomore defenseman Travis Brown. Tommy's win another draw on their own end. Pass up the right side to Willocks. He'll try to loft it forward. Intercepted by uh, Colford. Dumped right back into the Tommy zone. The folk. He'll bowl over his man, but draws up, but uh, commits a penalty in on Peterson of St. Thomas. And Diddle and Willocks getting into it on the uh, near side of the faceoff circle. Johnny's win the draw and clear it down the rink. Goes in on goal, Bugrabi will play it over to Elijah Latimer. And he'll give way for Luke Ratatek. Ratatek pass up the right side. Over for Christensen into the Johnny zone along the half wall. Back out to the point for Ratatek. A 4-4 shot here from the right side. Saved by Lindgren, loose puck on the side of the goal. And the net comes off its moorings. And the ref blows period here. Remember, if this game were to go to overtime, there's not going to be any shootouts. There's not going to be any three on three, none of that. It's going to be full 20 minute, five on five, sudden death periods until someone scores. Tommies keep the puck in after the Johnnies won the draw, but couldn't clear it out. At the faceoff circle, back out to the point for Latimer. He'll hold there, going D to D with Ratatek. Back to Latimer on the left side. He'll hold, back to Willox. Across the rink, into the slot. Goes off the skate boot of Christensen. And be kept in here by Peterson on the left side. He'll throw it down low, back to Willox. Back out to the point for Latimer. Tommy's being patient, moving the puck around here. Work back on the net. Soto will step in front of the pass behind the goal and slap it around the rink and clear it out and get a fresh set of penalty killers out. 
for SJU with 2.40 to go in the first period. 50 seconds remaining on the Tommy power play. Fromberger up the left side, over to Algren. He'll drop it back to Gravel. He'll swing it over to Panvika. Sails into the Johnny zone. Panvika down the right wing. Stops along the half wall. Back out to point for Gravel on the right side. He'll hold there. He'll get a middle ice for Fromberger. Back to over for Panvika. Panvika has the puck slip off his stick, but he's still able to chase it down. Johnny's don't knock it down along the boards with Dobbs and clear it down the rink. Fromberger starting the rush from behind his own goal. Drop pass to Gravel in the middle of the ice with 15 seconds to go on the power play. He's met by Chitwood in the neutral zone. Forced to circle back. Now Gravel coming up the middle. Drop pass over to Algren. Algren across the rink, tipped away there at the last second by Orn. And comes free for Stouts. Stouts down the right hand, right side, into the offensive zone. Stouts back into the goal, trying to hack it into the front of the net there was Oakley, unable to do so. Stouts back hands it out front, comes back to Stouts as it was cleared away. Stouts drop pass to the point, kept in by Orn. He'll go D to D, laying at the side of the right circle. Lang getting chased in there. He'll backhand it along the boards, intercepted by St. Thomas. Algren down the left wing. Algren will dump it in and chase down here. Orn will step in front of him. Lang comes in to help out, and he'll flip it back to Orn. Back over to Lang behind the St. John's goal. Lang up the left side over to Colford. A minute 15 to go in the period. Colford gets caught from behind. He was trying to try to fire a stretch pass off across the rink, but instead slides into the Tommy zone. St. Thomas will collect it there. Ratatek down the left wing into the St. John's end. Ratatek drop pass into the corner for Willox. Willox stops there. He'll swing it back to the point, but the defenseman hadn't gotten set yet, and Jensch has to pick up the loose puck in the neutral zone. Olmschenk will dump it right back into the Johnny end for UST. 45 seconds to go in the first period. Johnny's up by one. Out through center. Here is Kiro. Kiro into the offensive zone. Stop. Fires it across. And uh, Hepner couldn't handle that uh, bouncing puck on the right wing. And St. Thomas will collect in the far corner of their own end. Coming up left side is Monahan. Monahan fires it into the Johnny zone. Collected here by Soto off the end boards. So he'll chip it up the glass. And it'll be fired out to center by Chitwood. Knocked down out in the neutral zone. Here is Wagner down the left wing. Wagner stops in the left wing corner of the offensive zone all by himself. Johnny's still slow to get into the play here in the offensive end. Ten seconds to go in the period. Here is Wagner. He's double teamed, loses the puck to Panvika. Panvika down the right wing into the Johnny zone. Four seconds to go. Fires a shot that floats wide. Rings around the wall and stops in front of the Johnny bench as the whole end of the zone. Comes right back to him. Floats it over the top of the goal on a quick snapshot. Picked up on the near side half wall by Kirkendall, deep in the Tommy zone. Here's Oakley, shielding the puck along the end wall. Knocked away from him. Orn pinches in from the point to keep it in the zone. Here's Adam Orn, the junior defenseman. He's run off by Olmschenk. Puck in the near side corner. Oakley will spin and wheel it around over the far side wall of the Tommy zone. And it'll be tipped back out to center by Barnes up to Panvika. Panvika will bring it in down the left side. And Gravel is way in front of St. Cloud and Central Minnesota. Face off out at center after the offside call. Clean win by Wagner for SJU. Get it over to Lang. Lang rink wide back to Wagner. Wagner down the right side into the Johnny offensive zone. He'll stop. Fires blocked right in front of him. Comes right back to Wagner, though, at the top of the circle. He'll feed it back to the point for Hepner. Hepner. Hepner down the left side. And it's up for one timer. Save there in front. Rebound is cleared free as Chitwood almost had a chance at the rebound on the side of the goal, but it's cleared away by the Tommies. This line has been very effective for St. John's of Hepner, Wagner, and Chitwood this year. Back out to the point, though. St. Thomas in the offensive zone. Shot from the right point. Pad saved by Lindgren. The shot taken by uh, Alex Trapp. Here is Peterson. Drop past the trap. Ha he'll hack it back on the Johnny goal over to the near side wall. Picked up at the left point by Monahan for UST. He'll leave it back behind the net. Comes right out in front. Bouncer on the side of the goal. And it's picked up by Peterson. Turnout shot. And a blocker saved there by Lindgren. From in between the circles, and it's deflected in nothing. Here is Kiro, both teams with good chances in the opening minutes of this period. Johnny's leading one nothing. Face off one by the Tommies. Latimer from right on the goal line, throws it in on goal. Tight against the pipe was Lindgren. Algren. And the line's been waiting for something here. And Kiro will finally win the draw. Played along the near side half wall, and the Johnny's trying to get it out with Default. Battling for it against a couple of Tommy forwards. Default kicking it back out to center. And Johnny's will get it to Colford. He'll hack it into the offensive end. 
Colford against Olmschenk. Olmschenk leaves it in the corner off the stick of DeFault. DeFault still battling for it there. Playing near, well, the near side half will coming in to help out is Kiro. Dug free by uh, Latimer for St. Thomas. He'll retreat back behind his own net. He'll hold there. Latimer, pass up the right side over to Olmschenk. Olmschenk, a big guy at 6'5", 225 pounds. Fires into the St. John zone off the end glass. Back on the Johnny net, Kiro back to retrieve. Olmschenk, uh, as Johnny is a turn it over in the s up high in their own zone. They try to outlet feed it, was deflected away, and St. Thomas picks it up and keeps it in the offensive end, cycling on the far side of the Johnny zone right now with Christensen. Back out to the point. Romberg with a shot. Saved there by Lindgren, and he leaves no rebound. Puck control in the offensive zone. Face off to the left of Lindgren. Sabina taking the draw for the Johnnies. Face off control by St. Thomas. Back out to the point. Quick shot blocked away by Garrett Riebling. The senior is not expected to play uh, due to an upper body injury. He missed the uh, last few weekends. Turnaround shot by Zweiner and might have glanced off the shoulder of Lindgren. Kept in at the right point by the Tommies. Sabina throws a check there along the end wall, but St. Thomas holds it in. They'll go D to D from Berger. He'll get pressured up high in the zone, but just dumps it down deep, maintains the zone. Back out to the point for Frommberger again. He'll go D to D. Here's Jens with the shot, blocked in front by Riebling. Turnaround shot by the Tommy. And welcome back to Johnny Hockey. Turnaround shot there by Oakley. Bouncing around in front, trying to get to it there is Kirkendall and Stouts. And McGrawby finally covers up the bouncing puck. And we'll have a face-off in the game over the last six games against Gustavus, St. Thomas, and Augsburg. Johnny's had been leading the Mayak in shots against numbers. They had been the best team in terms of limiting shots against for most of the season, but that's not been the case in the latter st stages of the year. Played along the end wall in the Johnny zone. Johnny's trying to... Get it forward, an outlet feed goes off a skate boot, but um, Wagner picks it up in his own slot, gets it back into the offensive end, left behind the net there by Hepner. Chipwood trying to get to it. Both teams getting a little bit more physical here as the game moves along them, and St. Thomas in third in that category. So these, two, these teams do give up a few more power play chances each night than some of the other teams in the conference. Puck back into the Johnny zone. Peterson down the right side, drop pass to uh, Nolan in particular, picked up by default on the back check, then he tries a drop pass just inside his own zone, turned over to the Tommies. Peterson down the right side. He'll leave it along the half wall. Brown and Kiro trying to help out along the boards. And Tommies though able to work it back behind the St. John's net. Soto back to retrieve, pass up the right side. Default can't handle it cleanly. Soto has to work it off the end wall. Johnny's get it up to Colford, rink wide over to Kiro. Kiro into the offensive zone. Yeah, Lang over the right side, centers it into the slot. Tommy's clear that one away. Loose puck bounces to the goal line. St. Thomas will collect. And Fromberg will feed it up the middle of the ice for Peterson. Down the left side for Ratatek. Ratatek with a shot. Saved there by Lindgren. He leaves no rebound. Face off to Lindgren's right. And it's controlled by the Tommy's again. Trying to pull the trigger on a shot there is trapped, but he swung on and missed it. Second attempt, he kind of dumped it into the slot, and Johnny's able to clear it back out to the Tommy Blue line. Thrown right back into the SJU zone. Diddle, unable to play it. Tommy's muscle their man off. That was uh, Barnes. He shoved Dobbs off the puck. Back out to the point. Tommy's keep it in. Across the rink, out in front. The shot saved there by Lindgren. He dives on top of it. On top of the goal there was 93% of the shots he's seen. I mean, that is, that is excellent. Face off to his left. And it's controlled by the Tommies again. Olmschenk with a shot from the right point blocked in front. Here's Wagner up the left side over to Hepner. Hepner will dump it back down deep. Here's Diddle back behind his own goal. He'll bounce up the middle, goes off a couple of players. It's going to be an icing against the Johnnies. And we'll have another stoppage with on goal in favor of the Tommies in the first six minutes of this second period. Johnny's still leading 1-0, though. They'll get it up the right side wall to Chitwood. He'll turn around and center it, and that one's... Uh, Picked up by the Tommies, dumped right back into the Johnny zone. Diddle, bank it off the glass. That takes a weird carom off a stanchion. Johnnies will have to retreat back behind their own goal again. Dobbs up the middle. 
Over to Wagner, pass up the right side, tip forward into the offensive zone by Chitwood, but Olmchenk back to retrieve, he'll back in and back out to center. Dobbs, lobs it forward, knocked down by Radatek. Dobbs gets it back, kicks it into the offensive zone. Tommies will retrieve, up the middle for Christensen. St. Thomas coming up the middle, Christensen with a shot, goes over the top of the goal. Bounces into the near side corner. Algren tied up there by Dobbs, whip back behind the net. Picked up by Gavin Payne. He's met there by Jake Diddle for St. John's, but Payne still with puck possession over Olmschein for the one-timer. Blocked away by a Johnny Stick. Goes back on the net. Bounce around the side of the goal, and uh, Lindgren falls on top of it, and he'll get another whistle. 13.05. Face-offs go coming out of the first period were pretty much even. Stout's taking this draw. Another face-off win for St. Thomas. Shot from the top of the circle, blocked in front. Kirkendall back out to center, the Johnny Freshman. He'll fire it back into the offensive end. Stop on the net by Bugrabi for St. Thomas. Captain at the point for Brown. He'll float it towards the goal. Sticked away there by Bugrabi. Brown kind of handcuffed on that, just throwing it towards the goal as he had pressure coming from in front of him. But still forcing Bugrabi to make the save. Here's Evan Oakley in the left wing corner. Leaves it back behind the net for Kirkendall. Kirkendall tied up behind the net by Fromberger. Pushed up the boards by the Tommies, and they'll kick it back out to center. Here is Panvika up the left wing for Gravel. Gravel with a shot, pad save there by Lindgren from a sharp angle. Lindgren played that one well. Back out to the point, Monahan keeps in for the Tommies. Throws it towards the goal, blocked out in front. Caroms over the far side. Kirkendall comes back to a tree, two on two. And his pass over to Oakley is off the mark. St. Thomas will take control. They'll feed it up the left side. That's too far for Barnes. Orrin will play it along the end wall in the Johnny zone as we pass the eight minute mark here of the second period. Johnny's leading one nothing. He scored at the 8-0-1 mark of the first power play goal by Sean Lang. Johnny's kick it back out to center. Tommy's will collect it. And welcome back to Johnny Hockey. Kiro with a shot blocked on for rerun. Re That's not the goal. Trying to save it. They score! <laughs> a four on three rush for St. John's, and Sean Lang gets his second goal of the game, and it's 2 0 St. John's. Kiro came down the left wing, got the shot off, bouncing around in front. Johnny's got a couple of whacks at it. Lang almost over skated on the back door. Face off controlled by the Tommies. Back to chase it down. Down the left side is Mahan. He's bumped off by big Derek Olmschenk for the Tommies. Olmschenk works it up the right side. Tommies. St. John's. His second of the game and fourth of the season. Number two, Sean Lang. Assisted by number 23, Matt Colford, and number 21, Ryan Kier. So Colford and Kiro get the assists. But St. Thomas has the puck in the offensive end along the near side half wall right now. Back out to the point for Latimer. He'll float it towards the goal that goes over the top of the net. Picked up on the far side by the Tommies. And a penalty here for holding to Bagrabi's left. Wagner will take the draw. Wagner kicked out here, so Colford will have to take it. And it's controlled by the Tommies, and they'll back end it down the rink on the clear. Wagner back to play it. 19 assists on the season for Wagner. Second on the Johnny roster in scoring. Wagner, an excellent year of playmaking. Johnny's dumping it in down the left wing. Wagner, in fact, the most assists in the season since John Haig. And Algren will win it again for the Tommies. They'll ring it around the wall. Soto keeps it in, can't keep it in. Cleared out to center, shorthanded, stuff go down the right wing for St. Thomas, fires, stick save there by Lindgren, pops over the top of the net. And Stuffco will pick it up in the near side corner. He upends Chitwood, St. John's will collect the loose puck and start the rush back the other way. Wagner, pass down the right side, too far for Hepner. Cleared back into the Johnny zone. Hepner on a four-game goal-scoring streak right now. Hepner and Wagner have really been a dynamic duo this season. Rink-wide pass over to Kiro. Kiro with two assists on the day so far. Kiro in down the left wing. Drop pass to the point. Johnny's get tied up up high in the zone. 
Gets dumped back into the Johnny end. Brown back to retrieve. He'll bank it off the end wall. Over to the far side for Lang. Lang saucers it across the rink. Here's Stouts. Stouts gets past one man down the right side. He'll fire it around the boards. Oakley on the left wing. Into the corner along the end wall. Stouts will kick it free for Kiro. Kiro along the boards on the perimeter of the offensive zone. 25 seconds to go on the power play. He's trying to get it back to the point. Intercepted by Gravel. And St. Thomas will clear it back out to center. Gravel trying to slide it forward. That's intercepted by Lang. Oakley down the left wing on the attack. Oakley stops at the faceoff circle. Puck slips off his stick back behind the net. And he'll be tipped back over the near side wall. Pinching forward as Lang ends up clearing it into the netting. And welcome back to Johnny Hockey here in St. Cloud. Playoff hockey. Johnny's in the offensive zone right now. Joe Chitwood battling for the puck. Gives way for Wagner in the left wing corner. Drop pass for Hepner there. Hepner holding on to the puck. Hepner, he'll saucer it back down deep for the senior Chitwood. He's plowed over from behind. And a penalty coming here against Alex Trapp. Face off to the right of the Tommy goal here. Fourth power play chance of the afternoon for St. John's. They win the draw. And it's turned over. Shorthanded again. Christensen down the right side. And he stops at the face-up circle, fires a shot, trying to go to the far pipe, just missed. St. Thomas getting a little bit more aggressive here as they're down by two. They've had a couple of good chances on these power plays for St. John's. Back by the net in the Johnny zone. Lang will saucer it back down deep for Brown. Brown looking for an outlet feed. That's uh, tipped away from Stouts in the middle of the ice. St. Thomas will dump, again dump it down the rink. Lang will collect, back find his goal. Turned over to Algren. He's double teamed between Brown and Oakley. Back down deep again. Johnny's deep in their own zone. Brown tips up the wall. Turned over to Algren. He'll dump, dump it back into the corner. Laying back to pick it up. Leaves it there for Colfer behind the Johnny net. SJU having trouble getting out of their own end right now. A minute 08 to go on the power play. Colfer coming up the middle. Stops. Slides it down the left side for Hepner coming off the bench. He puts on the brakes in the corner. Punched back to the point. And uh, Tommy's getting really aggressive now on their penalty kill. Johnny's going D to D. Wagner and Soto trying to set something up. Here is Wagner moving to the middle of the ice. He'll stop. Back over to Hefner at the faceoff circle for Cole for a turnaround shot. And that one might have gone off the face mask of the goaltender, Bagrabi. Johnny's a collect, set it up again. Wagner back to Cole for the one timer. They score! <laughs> See who gets credit for it. Colt. Johnny's win the draw at center. Pass up the middle for Kiro. Kiro has it slip off his stick. Turned over to the Tommies. Down the right side. Penalty coming against the Johnnies. It's on the power play. Exactly what you did not want to do after taking a 3-0 lead is give the Tommies a power play here. Seconds after taking that 3-0 advantage in the St. John zone to start the Tommy power play. Face off control by the Johnnies, pushed into the corner but turned over to Barnes. He'll shovel up the right side and that squirts through at the point. Goes all the way back into the Tommy end. Andrew Rokel, the goaltender, will play it for the Tommies, the senior. He's playing, this is his 11th game of the year. First time coming in in relief. 575 minutes, a 908 save percentage, a 2.6 goals against average, and a 4-5 and 1 record. Short-handed, two on two, stouts down the right side into the offensive zone. Drop pass out down the left side of the shot for Ditto, and that one's blocked in front. Caroms over the near side wall. Tommy's will start the rush with Panvika. Coming up the middle, angling over the left side. He'll chip it down deep into the corner of the St. John's zone. Slapped around the boards by the Johnnies and back down the rink on the clear. A minute 10 to go on the St. Thomas power play. 5.45 remaining in the second period. 3-0. St. John's with the lead. Short hand of the Johnnies will collect in the, in the corner. Here's Wagner. He'll just slide it back in deep into the Tommy zone. St. Thomas back to retrieve. Willox will leave it back behind the goal. Tommy starting the rush, coming up the middle with Fromberger. Pass up the right side, back to Willox. Into the Johnny's zone, stops, fires. Stick save there by Lindgren. Rebound cleared away by Orn. And Wagner will chip it back out to center into the Tommy end. Rokul will pad it, paddle it forward to Ratatek. Up the left side into the Johnny end again. Here's Peterson, stops just after entering the zone. Peterson 
along the boards on the left wing. Drop pass to Radatek. Radatek will drop it back to Peterson to the faceoff circle for Christensen. Down low at the side of the goal for Willox. He'll work it back to the top of the circle with a shot. Saved there by Lindgren. It squirts back by the net. Willox back to Peterson at the top left circle. Who come a couple of steps across the ring with a shot. Fa off the face mask of Lindgren and into the net. It, uh, into the new goal in the second. 13 seconds remaining on the penalty to Soto. And the faceoff control by the Tommies, but they end up splitting the D, going all the way back in their own end. And that should just about do it on the power play. Johnnies need to make sure they stay focused and composed the rest of the game. That uh, power play for the Tommies was the result of, I think, kind of getting a little bit too amped up and not playing the right man off that faceoff after the Johnnies took the 3-0 the lead. Puck at the Tommy blue line. Fed forward to Barnes, up the left side into the Johnny zone. Here's Panvika trying to get it to Barnes and a nice play there, and he redirected it, but Barnes got too much of it. And welcome back to St. Cloud. Turnaround shot there from the base of the faceoff circle by Peterson. Goes over the top of the Johnny goal, rings around the wall, all the way back into the St. Thomas end. Under four minutes to go in the second period. Johnny's will pick up a loose puck in the Tommy zone. Here's Kiro. Kiro from a sharp angle. Floats it across the rink. Tommy's will pick it off, off the, pick it up off the half wall. First down the left wing. Here's a shot there, and they score. Ratatek gets it in just inside the far pipe. And the Tommies. Get on the board. Three Stearns Bank, we get the job done. Recap the game so far. Second half of my pregame interview with Travis Brown, Johnny sophomore defenseman. St. John's will win the draw at center. And played in front of the Johnny bench. Tommies, Olmschenk up the right side into the Johnny zone. Here is a shot, pad saved there by Lindgren. Rebound, pick up the point by Latimer, and he breaks his stick on the process, and it goes into the slot, collected by uh, Wagner. He'll get it up to the blue line for Hepner. Hepner holds there, drops it back for Chitwood. Chitwood chasing down along the end wall in the Tommy zone. He kind of steps over Olmschenk. He goes face first into the end wall. St. Thomas back the other way, down the left side. Christensen drop pass. Back to Christensen inside of the goal, trying to work out front. Bouncing puck inside of the net. And uh, Lindgren gets in the bold over locker room after trying to regain that three goal lead. Face off to the right of Randall Rokel, the goaltender in net now for St. Thomas. Tommy's changed goaltenders after the uh, third goal scored by St. John's. Browns keeps the puck in the offensive zone after navigating around the linesman. Johnny's keeping it in the zone at the top of the right circle for Lang. Lang holding there. Change positions with Kiro. Kiro at the side of the right circle in the offensive zone. Works it back down low for Stout. Stout slides over the far side. St. Thomas will pick up a loose puck and Algren carrying down the right wing. He'll fire it in on goal from the red line. Testing Lindgren after uh, he got bowled over a moment ago. That led to this power play for St. John's. Here is Brown. Pass up the right side to Kiro. He'll drop it back to Brown, but it slips off the defenseman's stick and St. Thomas will clear it back into the Johnny end. Laying back to retrieve here as we pass the 18 minute mark of the second period. Colford starts the rush down the left wing. Across the rink over for Wagner. Wagner gains the line. Wagner trying to get past a couple of Tommies. He's tied up, Hepner, come, Hepner comes in to help out. Gets it back to Wagner, back out to the point. Wagner goes off his stick. Colford sweeps it back down low and into the corner for Hepner. Hepner over for Colford, Colford. Back to Hefner in the corner. Those guys are tied up there with 35 seconds to go in the power play. Wagner digs the puck out, back across the rink for a one-timer for Soto. That's blocked in front, missed the net, and the Tommies will clear it down the rink. Minute 15 to go here in the second. Johnny's up by two. Here is Wagner. One, made one more rush here on the power play. Oakley in front of his own bench. He'll backhand it forward. Too far for Hefner. Cleared right back into the Johnny's zone. And Soto will start the rush again in front of Stufko. He'll bounce it across the rink for Hefner. Under a minute to go here in the second. And so a key spot here late in the second period. You have four on four for seven seconds, and then the Tommies will have a power play for the rest of the period. Johnny's win the draw on their own end. They'll work it around the boards over the near side for Oakley. 
to the team bench. Two minutes for too many men on the ice. And it was too many men on the ice. Johnny's have had some issues with that this year. St. John's will dump it back in deep. Tommy's now with the power play. 40 seconds to go in the period. Out through center. Coming up middle is Fromberger. He'll get it over to Barnes. Barnes moving to the middle ice. Across the ring for Gravel with a shot. Saved there by Lindgren. Boy, Gravel got open. Wagner against Gravel. And the faceoff control by Tommy's back to the point. Panvika works it over to Fromberger with a shot. That's blocked in front. Goes into the far corner. Algren leaves it in the corner for Gravel. Back out to Algren at the top of the right circle. Now with a shot. Shoulder save. And no rebound. Big stop there by Lindgren. And he'll hold on again. 18 and a half seconds to go. And puck comes free for the Johnnies. They'll chip it over the near side wall. They can clear it down the ice if they can get it out. And they do. Picked up by Gravel at his own blue line. 10 seconds to go in the period. Gravel coming up the middle. Into the Johnny zone over the right side to Panvika. Panvika drop pass to Gravel. Puck tied up along the half wall. Backhanded back out to center by St. John's. And the horn will sound. Period. Johnny's going from right to left across your radio dial to start things off. They win the faceoff and slap it down the rink on the clear. Back to play it behind the uh, Tommy net. Here is Latimer. And he'll give way for Ratatek, the goal scorer. He has three goals on the season against the Johnnies. Gets on the right side for Christensen into the St. John's zone. Back out to the point for Latimer. Latimer holding there. Slides it over to Ratatek. Up high in the zone. Back over to the top left circle. Down low into the corner for Willox. Back out to the circle. Cross the rink for Ratatek. Pass was off the mark, but he able to corral it. Couldn't get a shot off, though. Back to Latimer. Cross over to Ratatek. He'll hold. Fires blocked out. Rebound in the crease. And it's cleared back out to center by the Johnnies. Latimer back to retrieve. Hepner will be aggressive on the forecheck for a moment. Maybe one more rush on the power play. Christensen down the right wing into the Johnny zone. Cleared free. Comes Hepner down the left side by himself. Hepner drop pass to Wagner, and Wagner couldn't get there in time. There's a poke checked away by Willox, who read that play well. Tommy's back into the offensive zone. Peterson down the right wing along the half wall. He'll backhand it across. Here's Fromberger. Fromberger into the slot. Here's a backhander. Goes off the pad of Lindgren and into the corner. Slips through Christensen at the faceoff circle. The Johnnies end up shoveling it out to center on the backhand. Loose puck at the blue line. Collected by Jens for St. Thomas. He'll get it up to the Johnny blue line. Intercepted by Soto. Soto fires it down the left side. Here is Default. Spins away from a check along the end boards. Puck stripped away from him there by Fromberger. He'll leave it behind the Tommy goal. Back to five on five skating here in the early going of the third period. Johnny's up 3-1. Pass up the right side to Gravel. He runs into the linesman. That allows the Johnnies to catch up to him along the half wall, but Gravel still strong in the puck, possessing it. And comes out in front of the Johnny goal. Out in front for Gravel with a shot. Saved there by Lindgren. And he holds on. 18 c Equal housing lender. Face off to the left of the St. John's net. Clean win on the draw for the Johnnies. Diddle working around the far boards up to Oakley. Evan Oakley, the senior. Pass up to Kirkendall. He'll swing it in around the boards. Over to the far side wall. Stout's trying to play it. Comes free for Oakley along the half wall. Oakley will push it down low. Pushed high up the glass over Oakley. And Gravel will collect for St. Thomas. Gravel down the left wing. Into the Johnny zone. Up high in the zone. Down the right side. Turnout shot by Barnes. Blocked in front. Comes free for Olmshank. His quick shot is blocked in front by Diddle. In the near side corner, dug free by Stouts. He'll push it up the boards, can't get it out. Olmschenk just fires it down deep again, hard off the end wall. Picked up by Diddle, he'll get it up the right side. Delayed offside against the Tommies. Puck goes out to center, but St. Thomas just fires it right back in. They're happy to go for a line change here. Johnny's pressed the pace the other way. Kirkendall, he'll throw it in on goal from a long ways out. And a pad saved by Rokel. Johnny's will just barely keep it in. Actually, no, they don't. Delayed offside. Johnny's clear of the zone. St. Thomas bringing it out to center. They'll throw it in and goal from the red line and a save by Lindgren with 17 minutes to go. Glass.com, City Autoglass is celebrating 20 years of serving Central uh, St. Cloud in Central Minnesota. Johnny's back in it out to center. Here's Hepner, two on two with Chitwood. Hepner into the offense zone. Throws it to Wagner. Wagner with a shot that's blocked out in front by a sprawling Alex Trapp. Back along the end wall, St. Thomas. Works it out to center, ricochets off several players, comes free for Wagner at the center ice logo. Wagner into the offensive end on the backhand. He'll work it down low off the end wall. 
Picked up by the Tommies, deep in their own end. He floated out to center by Algren, trying to get it over to Payne. Stepping in front of that one was Soto. He'll get it over to the far corner for Brown. Now back to Soto behind the Johnny net. Pass up the left side for Hepner. Hepner gains the red line. He'll dump it in. Sabina trying to chase down. Along the end wall, unable to play. Tommies will clear it out to center. Soto will just chip it right back into the Tommy end. Stop behind the net by Ropel. Tommy's over back over to the near side corner. Fromberger up to the blue line, intercepted nicely by Sabina. He'll backhand in the middle of the ice. Over skating there is Dahl, and it's turned over to the Tommies. Their pass is off the mark, though, and the Johnnies get it back out to center. Turned back over to the Tommies for Zwiner. He'll clear it into the St. John's zone. Hard hit there by Dahl on Zwiner in front of the penalty box. Play will continue. Johnnies kick it back into the neutral zone. Collected at the Tommy blue line here by Yench. Yench pass up the right side, back to Zwiner. Into the Johnny zone, Johnny's changing on the go. Zwiner down the right side with a shot. Saved there by Lindgren and he holds on. And welcome back to St. Cloud. Tommy's in the offensive zone again with Panvika. Johnny's leading 3-1 as we pass the five-minute mark of the third period. Poke checked away from Barnes in the near side corner of the offensive zone. Back to the point. Tommy's going D to D. There's a shot from the point and a pad save there by Lindgren. Rebound comes into the far corner. Picked up by Oakley. He'll loft it back into the Tommy zone in front of the benches. Picked up there by Latimer. He'll fire it across the rink for Gravel. Gravel. Stops at the top of the right circle, moves into the slot, bouncing around there, coming in to plow over Gravel nicely with his default, and he breaks up that play. Gravel, I think, took a little bit too long to get, to get where he wanted to get to and get a shot off. Johnny's back the other way, Colford, rink wide into the right corner over for default. He'll stop at the top of the circle, and he'll just dump it back behind the net. Colford there, Colford picks up the net, backhands on front, bouncing around there, cleared by the Tommies to the near side wall. Work back behind the net, here's default, default. In the near side corner, back out to the point. Quick one-timer by Lang and a stick save by Rokel. Probably the toughest save that the senior has had to make. Uh, coming in a relief shot from the point. That's knocked down front. Poke check cards the goal. Rebound in front. Kiro with a shot, and that's blocked in front by a Tommy who had no idea where the puck was. Here's Odorin with a shot that's blocked and that uh, is deflected and sails wide. Lang keeps it in at the point. He'll dump it down there. Tommy's will fire it right back, right back out to center, and it'll trickle into the Johnny end. St. Thomas will change up on the go with 13.45 to go in the third period. Johnny's up. Three to one. Puck out at center. Tommy's getting into the neutral zone. Diddle back to retrieve in the Johnny zone, banking it high off the glass, back into the, out to center. Here's Wagner. Wagner gives way for Hepner. Hepner down the left wing, looking for a centering pass. He'll bank it off the end boards, trying to get it to Chitwood. Swept away from Chitwood. Bouncing puck kept in by Diddle at the point. He'll get it over to Wagner at the right circle. He'll leave it back into the corner. Chitwood will step in front of it, push it back on the Tommy net. Hepner can't play there as St. Thomas will take possession. Pass up the left side to Radatek. He'll saucer it out the center, tipped away by the stick of Hepner out into the neutral zone at the red line. Tommies will collect, retreat back to their own blue line. Johnny's trying to take it away. Hepner trying to chase down a loose puck at the top of the right circle in the Tommy zone. That's cleared away by St. Thomas, and they'll bring it back out to center. Here is Willox. He can't play it in front of the penalty boxes. Tommies run into each other, turn it over. Down the left wing is Oakley, one on one. Oakley with a shot that's deflected and goes wide. Tommies ran into each other along the boards in front of the penalty box while the Johnnies get the puck. St. Thomas will dig it free with Yench behind their own goals. You're listening to 660 AM WBHR Sock Rapids. St. Cloud back into the Tommy end. Tommy shielding the puck with Algren. Algren out through center. He'll chip it in down the left side off the end board. Soto will play it up the wall. Alber for default. They'll get it up to Kirkendall. Kirkendall back to default. 2 on 2. Kirkendall over to default. Default on the right side. Poke checked away from him by a, a sprawling Olmshank, but the Johnnies keep it in the zone. Going D to D. Here's Lang faking the slapper. Takes a step forward. The shot just missed the net. That one got through. Or now has a loses an edge. Puck goes out to center, but he's able to recover and get the puck and fire it back into the Tommy end. Otherwise, it might have been a one on one rush for the Tommies the other way. Here's Gavin Payne behind the Johnny goal. Bumped off by Lang, but he's able to recover the puck in the corner. Now Payne tied up on the far side. Lang will backhand it out to center. 
Tommies will collect at their own blue line. Olmshank will bank it off the boards across the rink. Here is Panvika, gets it up to Gravel. Now we chip back into the Tommy end by St. John's after it slipped off Gravel's stick, 11.30. And welcome back to Johnny Hockey. One of these teams will have its season start and finish with the opponent. These two teams are the other semifinal. Augsburg and St. Mary's will be played in Minneapolis starting at 7 o'clock tonight. Johnny's win the draw on their own end after the icing. They'll get it around the boards and push it back out to center. Tommy's will play there. Down the right side, Fromberger gets it up off the skate of Panvika. Panvika takes a check from Diddle. Panvika chases down along the end wall. Pushes over the far corner into the slot. Gravel is double teamed. The puck tipped back out to center. Icing waved off. Johnny's will change up on the go here. Up to Gravel again. Drop pass for Barnes on the right side. Barnes centers in front. Pad saved there by Lindgren. Comes right up the middle, but Oakley will clear it away. Back out to center. Stouts, backhander over to Kirkendall. Kirkendall down the left wing. He'll throw it towards the goal that's blocked in front. Comes right back to Kirkendall. He stays with it. Carries back on the goal. Turnaround shot block. Comes free for Brown. Out in front. Tipped it off. Pad saved. Right away. Score! Oakley! Johnny's just kept working it in the... They bled another 10 seconds or so off the clock. That was all that discussion was about. And we're back underway here. Johnny's will chip it in down the left side and plowed over. Face off in the neutral zone. Won by the Johnny's. St. John's. His eighth of the season, number 18, Evan Oakley. Assisted by number 27, Davis Kirkendall. Time of the goal, nine. So officially it's, it's Oakley from Kirkendall as the Tommy's coming down the right side with Willox and his shot is to the left of the Johnny goal here with 9.45 to go in the third period. Kiro against Jake Aldrin. And the Johnnies win the draw. Soto will bank it off the end boards over to the far side for Default. Default two on two here with Colford. Default going into the right wing corner. Battling for it there. Down deep in the Tommy end. Johnny's playing a very good third period. Hard hit from behind on Default. Play will continue. Of course, in the third period of a playoff game, you pretty much have to pull a happy Gilmore and break your skate off and try to stab someone to get a penalty. As back out to the point, Tommy's fighting a... Quick shot off from the left side by Latimer. Blocked in front. Johnny's will hack it off the glass back into the neutral zone. But the Johnny is uh, definitely not going into a defensive shell here in this period. They've been better here in the third than they were in the second. Tommy's will bank it off the end boards behind the Johnny net. Fire it right back behind the net. Too far for Brown in the left wing corner of the Tommy offensive zone. Throwing it back to the faceoff circle. Panvico with a quick shot that's blocked in front by Soto. Kept in at the left point by Latimer. Back behind the goal for Algren. He's battling with Brown. Here's Algren. In the left wing corner of the Johnny zone. Works in the soft for a quick shot. Blocker saved there by Lindgren. Barnes coming off the bench, moving in the middle of the ice. Johnny didn't pick him up, but Lindgren makes the save. Here is Gravel with a shot. Saved by Lindgren. He holds on. Gravel coming off the bench into the play. Mike, semifinal action here in St. Cloud. Passing the 12 minute mark of the third period. St. John's up four to one on St. Thomas in the two, three semifinal matchup. Tommy's trying a stuff in play from in front. Pass doesn't connect. Johnny's will clear it back into the Tommy end. It's like 18 overtimes or anything like that. Tommy's the goal line trying to go for a backdoor stuff in play. Pass doesn't connect. St. John's will pull it back out to center. Hard play there against Kirkendall. Tommy's back on the attack, cross ring pass. Right attack into the slot. He'll take a shot that's uh, 
sails up over the top of a Johnny. Augsburg trying for its fourth straight Mayak Tournament Championship. Johnny's bank the puck off the boards, can't get out. Shot from the left point, saved by Lindgren, no rebound. Tommies are going to get to the face off to Lindgren's right again. Another face off win, quick shot, shoulder saved there by Lindgren. Now trying to bank it off the back of the goaltender was Algren. Goes all the way back out to center and all the way back into the Tommy end. Goaltender Rokel comes back to play it. Tommy's will bank it off the end wall. Here's Trap, pass up the right side for Payne, centering it. That's tipped away. Payne gets it back, enters the Johnny zone. Stripped away from him by Wagner. Wagner up the right side to Hefner. Hefner into the offensive zone down the right wing. He'll stop up high in the zone. He'll throw it off the end wall. Bounces into the corner. Trying to play it there is Chitwood. Trap spins away, comes away with the puck. He'll backhand it out to center in front of the benches. Johnny's will play it there. And they'll flip it back out to center. Picked up by Trapp again at his own blue line. He'll get it over to Olmschenk. Olmschenk fires it forward to Christensen. That was thrown in his chest. It was knocked down and turned over to the Johnnies in the SJU zone. Johnnies will bank it off the glass. And the goal. And since then, the Tommies have gone 1-2-1. One, one. St. Thomas was a 500 team the first nine, ten games of the season, then had that great stretch where they were 9-0-4, but they uh, kind of peaked in the middle of the year, and they've started to struggle here in the, the latter stages of the season. Puck along the far side, half hole in the Johnny zone, dug free here by default, and he'll waft it into the Tommy end. And hasn't been as dominant as you might expect, though. There have been a lot of games kind of like this one where the Johnnies have been outshot by a significant margin. Currently, the shot totals are 34 to 17 on the Schlender, Wenner, and Company stat sheet in favor of the Tommies. Tommies learn another draw. Tipped out in front by Gravel, and it's redirected wide. Gravel backhands it back to the point. Thrown towards the goal there. It's deflected away. Back out to center. Tommies have to clear the zone. Gravel in front of the penalty box. He'll back up to his own blue line and slide it forward for Panvika. Panvika gets it up to Barnes. Barnes stops at the right circle. He'll let a shot go. That's deflected away. And the third, 4-1, St. John's with the advantage. Tommy's win the draw in the offensive zone again. They'll go D to D, but that passes off the mark. Oakley can't clear it out, though. As it's dumped back in deep by Latimer, Johnny's will ring it around the wall. Kirkendall can't get it out. Gets tied up just inside the blue line somehow. I don't know if Kirkendall got a stick caught in the, in the boards or something. But a second effort by SJU gets it back into the Tommy end. Latimer back ends it off the end wall, niftily over for... Fromberger, he'll get it up the right side to Peterson. Peterson stops at the top of the circle, and it's cleared away from him. And Johnny certainly seemed to have figured out the Tommy offensive structure. You know, the Tommies are doing a lot of drop passes and so forth, and Johnny's doing a nice job of reading those very well. Uh, in the series, regular season series, and here in this playoff game, and the Johnnies ice the puck again with 4.51 to go here in the third period. Starting at 6.30 tonight, we'll have the pregame show for the uh, Basketball championship game between the Johnnies and Augsburg at Sexton Arena at St. John's. Tip at 7 p.m. from Sexton Arena. Puck back on the Johnny goal right now. Trying to stuff it in front of the Tommies. And it's tied up against the uh, against the net. Dug free by SJU and they'll bank it off the glass and back out to center in front of the Tommy bench. St. Thomas going D to D. Up the middle to Chris from Wisconsin. He's been a very effective goal scorer, gritty guy for St. Thomas for a couple of years. Colin Willocks, one of their captains. He played 101 career games. Stouts taking the draw. But finishing my thought from earlier, you know, just Johnny's 4-1-2 in, in their last seven games, but it hasn't been as dominating as you might expect. There's been a lot of significant, a lot of games where they were outshot by a significant margin. But uh, they've capitalized on their chances in games like tonight. And in other games, they've gotten spectacular goaltending from Andrew Lindgren. Back along the end wall in the Johnny zone. Dug free by St. Thomas. Back out to the point. Quick shot there by Olmschenk. And that one kind of skittered along the ice. And it was padded away by Lindgren's right leg. And into the corner. Run around the wall by the Tommies. Back into the neutral zone. Three and a half minutes to go. 
Pass up the middle for Gravel. Gravel looking a little bit tired, but I'm sure he's being shifted, you know, double shifted, double shifted, double shifted. Shot there from the point. That's blocked in front. Rat attack taking that wrist shot. Kind of caroms around. Tommy's keeping it in the zone, throwing it towards the goal. Blocked away by Lindgren again. And kept in at the left point by Monahan. He'll fire it back on the Johnny goal. Pushed over the near side half wall. Colford will play it. The Johnnies have had one line that's done most of the offense tonight. The uh, Colford Kiro default line. As it's fired into the Johnny end by Ratatek, gloved down there by Soto in the slot. Colford will backhand it into the offensive end and go for a line change. 2.45 to go here in the third. Johnny's up by three. Trap will fire it into the St. John zone. Hacked up the boards by Dobbs on the far side. Can't get it out. Shoveled down deep by the Tommies. Picked up here by Peterson. He's knocked down by Diddle. And the... Uh, I hate to use this phrase, but the refs have let them play here in the third period. There's not been any penalties. Shot from the slot, from the center point, blocked down in front, and St. John's will bring it out to center. Chipwood will clear it in down the left wing. Back along the end wall in the Tommy zone. Chipwood will shovel it behind the goal. Here's Hefner. Hefner in the right wing corner. Centers it in front and kicked away by the stick of the goaltender, Rokel. And back out to the to center ice down the right side for Christensen. Passing the 18-minute mark here of the third period. Here is Latimer down the right side. He's double teamed by Hepner and Soto. Backhands out in front, but Stouts does a great job back checking and picks that pass off coming into the middle of the ice. Three and one rush the other way. Back here for Oakley with a shot. Saved by Rokel, and he holds on. Hepner Oakley coming in up for Lang. Lang will push the near side wall. He punched back out to center by Algren. And then Stouts will quickly hack it right back into the offensive end. Andrew Lindgren has been a two-time Mayak Player of the Week award winner. And both times it's come after the St. Thomas series, this year and last year. As the puck in the slot of the Johnny zone cleared away here by Orn. And uh, Lindgren got pulled in his last start against Gustavus in the final game of the regular season. Johnny's came back to win that game 7-5. As there's 68 seconds to go, Tommy's not pulling the goaltender here. As Olmschenk pass up the left side, but Andrew Lindgren has been a spectacular goaltender for the Johnnies. Penalty coming here. Performance in a on the road against the Augies the next night and a 2-1 win. And here's Gravel with a shot, throws it towards the goal, floats it in, a save there by Lindgren. And he didn't have control of it, but the refs lost sight of it and blew Bethel to start the second half. And he uh, picked up a 5-1 win in that matchup. Tommy's win the draw, and they were called. And he, uh, unless something strange happens here in the final 35 seconds, he's going to give up just one goal here tonight. Another excellent performance for the junior goaltender from Minneapolis. Johnny's will clear it back out to center. They can clear it down the rink with the power play underway for St. Thomas. Gaining the line is Willox down the right wing. Hacked back into the neutral zone by SJU. 15 seconds to go. Johnny's up 4-1. to one. Down the left wing is Algren. Poke checked away from him. Picked up by Hefner. And Hefner will slowly bring it out to center by himself. And slip off his stick. He'll just throw it into the corner. And the horn will sound. And St. John's...